morning everybody it's your boy Scotty I'm coming at you live from up here in some town in Missouri I'm gonna go ahead and get this day started for you guys uh, right now times um, 921 I'm gonna go ahead and get my my time started here and get on up there to that uh, that delivery spot for you guys today and Hopefully my DM can get me something out of there. Either back down toward Laredo or up to Pennsylvania or somewhere. As long as I get somewhere and not just sitting all day on day, that'd be awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and bounce it up out of here, you guys. And get my day started. See what we can get into today. Alright, you guys. It took me a minute to find this place. The addresses here in Missouri are all fucked up. It's coming down the road. And it told me my destination was on the right side. But come to find out my destination was on the left side about a quarter of a block down the road. So that just right there just goes to show you can't always believe your GPS. It gets you in the vicinity of the area that you need to be in but not always accurate a hundred percent but then again my GPS hasn't been updated since the day I purchased it so could be a good possibility that it needs updated too but uh they're unloading me right now like I said I didn't show y'all me coming in and anything like that cause you know some places are weird like that they don't want people to uh, record or anything like that so but as you they're they're bouncing me around back here in the back so I'm gonna wait it out here wait till they get done unloading me and all that good stuff and then uh, I'm probably gonna head back over to the truck stop and, and wait out until I get something from my dispatch so we'll see what we get into today after they get done unloading me all right everybody so I'm just going to be sitting here till they find me a load or something back to Laredo. Uh, my uh, my DM sent me a message and was like, uh, so where you want to go? You want to go to Easton, Ohio? Or you want to go back to Laredo? I said, well, it depends on where the load's going after that. She said, the load to Easton, Ohio after that, you're going to California and Laredo, you're going back to Pennsylvania. I said, you're the boss. You send me where you want to send me. So, she's uh trying to find out which way would be best for me to go. Uh, either way, I got to get my brother back in the truck. So, we're trying to figure out which way to go and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So, stay tuned. Keep checking. That's all I can do. I just gotta keep checking, keep checking, keep checking. <clears throat> but I went and got me a selfie stick with my uh, my points here at this uh, truck stop. Got me a selfie stick. I don't like doing. I don't like using the stick with the phone. I mean, I like it because I can move around and all that good stuff, you know. But. uh I don't like it because I can't push the button to start the video camera on my phone. Um, I can push the button and I'll snap a picture all day long. But I can't get it to just do the video itself. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's one of them situations. But, uh, if anything else happens, you guys, or if I figure out where I'm going to go to uh, before uh, the end of the day, I'll let you guys know what's going on, but until then, just stick with it, stay tuned, and keep watching. See, I can't even, I can't even turn the damn camera off with the button. I snap a picture, but I can't turn it off. Crazy. But stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Well, guys. Ain't not changed since the last time I said something to you guys. So. Just let y'all take a look uh, at this truck stop here real quick. 
I'm gonna let y'all see how fast it's already filled up from earlier today. When there was only like five trucks in the parking lot this morning whenever I left out to now just at little after, uh, oh, what time is it? Uh, a little after 2.30 in the afternoon. And this is all due to the electronic log situation that we have to deal with on a daily basis. So uh, let me let y'all take a look at this truck stop and y'all will see how fast it's already filled up. See guys, it's already filled up. It's just in a few short hours. Just in a few short hours of me sitting here. But that's how truck stops are, man. They fill up real quick, and then other drivers, they ain't got a parking spot. These truck stops, they need to expand their parking lots so more trucks can be able to park. That's just the way I feel about the situation, but you know, it's just me, it's not, you know, it's not them, so they ain't got to deal with the I deal with on a daily basis, but I'm going to flip on up out of here, guys, and wait until I get, uh, yeah, pretty much wait till I get, um, dispatched on a load. Hopefully they get me something soon, because as of this point in time, let's see, looking at my summary. Looking at my summary. About eight hours and forty-three minutes. That's all I have left on my fourteen hour clock for the rest of the day. I I've gained four, I got fourteen hours and three. They probably just have me sit here all day today, which is gonna be bullshit because I ain't getting paid to do nothing but sit here. So hopefully they get me something out of here tonight, which I doubt it, but that's fourteen hours I get for tomorrow. And hopefully they can get me some. I'll just chill out here for the day. That's no problem either. Probably go take me a walk or something. Go do something. I don't know. But I'll let y'all know something. Let my phone charge up for a little bit. And uh, I'll holler back at y'all here in just a few minutes. See it or not. But on that truck right there, that PTL truck. It is a flasher. Was actually hanging down off the side of his truck. I'm going to try to get over and see if I can uh, actually see it and point it out to him. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it's hanging down. It's right there. It's hanging down. I think that's a DOT violation, isn't it? I was going to say, he didn't use your truck to straighten it out, did he? I don't know. <laughs> All right, man. That's a DOT violation right there. As long as they can get it fixed, it'll be alright. See if he climbs up out of his truck. 
Yeah, he's climbing down out of his truck. He's an older fella. You know, you gotta help her. You gotta help us each other out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta help each other out in situations. that or not I didn't notice it, <laughs> it just fell out of there huh yeah I'll well, be damned let's see if we can get her back up in there yeah I was gonna tape it in there but... <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that happened she just popped out that's it let's see oh you saved me a DOT a violation right there brother let's see Oh yeah, she's in there now. She just popped out of the seals, all she did. Yeah, well, I appreciate there it. There you go. Good deal. Not a problem, man. You wanna, you wanna uh, slap a piece right here? We'll uh -huh. hold this, slap a piece of that tape right here and we'll hold this wire up right here so that way she don't come out again. Right here, right above your head. There we go. That'll hold it up there. Oh, yeah, that'll hold it right there. Perfectly. Right. Thank you much. All right, not a problem, brother. I didn't know if you noticed that or not. Driving I down the highway. Not at all. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, at least, at least now you won't get pulled over by DOT and they write you a $500 ticket for a light being hung down. I know, right? Be safe, man. Not a problem. Hey, you guys, it's common courtesy of the trucking industry and it's helping another driver out. That's what we're here for. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to help each other out, not make it not, not make it tougher on each other. You see something wrong with another driver before he gets pulled over by a DOT officer, man. You let that driver know, bro. If you're sitting in a truck stop and you see something wrong with the truck, but hey, man, do you notice this? You know. Uh, point it out to them though, man. You know, just let them know. Hey, yo, you got this thing wrong with your truck. I didn't know if you noticed it or not, man. Might want to get that fixed before you get back out on the road. You know what I'm saying? It's common sense, common courtesy. Help each other. Excuse me. Woo. -hoo. Damn. Taco Bell talking shit. But uh, help each other out. That way you don't have to. They don't have to deal with bullshit. You don't. Have to, uh, oh shit. And you don't have to deal with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Just help each other out, guys. That's all you gotta do. Just help us out. I guess his truck won't start. That's hard to tell. Just walked out of the truck stop over there. And walked out and boom. Sitting there, sitting there. I'm like, uh oh. Something about you got. Something happened. figure out what happened. 
I'm not sure if you guys heard what he said, but uh, truck works. Works perfectly fine, he said. But they let him go. Said he scraped a guardrail and they're letting him go because he scraped a guardrail or something. Dudes in uh, Missouri, where I'm at, right here in Missouri, and they sent him home. Ain't getting him a bus ticket, ain't getting him nothing, making him find his own way home. And he lives in Baltimore, Maryland. It's ridiculous how a company can do that to your drivers. At least get him a bus ride home, you know what I'm saying? At least find him a way home. It'd be the better thing to do. Find your, find your, your driver a way home. Well guys, ain't much changed. I'm gonna go ahead and get on up out of here for the night. Uh, they got me a load tomorrow uh, in Iowa. This goes from Iowa all the way down to back down to Laredo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself some shout out for the night and uh, I'll holler back at y'all whenever I get up in the morning.